Good morning. Happy Saturday morning. It's John again to play Immaculate Grid. Um, I'm going to uh, be playing number 356 this morning, which is the batting average attained by Babe Ruth the year he hit 60 home runs, as well as the batting average attained by Hack Wilson the year he set the all-time RBI record in 1930 with uh, 191 RBI. Both gentlemen hit 356. So did Kirby Puckett in 1988. Fun fact. Um, I'm going to uh, get into it. One, one thing before I get started, uh, I just saw this on X uh, this morning. Adam Dorowski, who uh, runs, I think runs uh, Immaculate Grid, he works at Baseball Reference, and he does other things too, I think, over there. But uh, he was uh, basically soliciting suggestions for things people uh, would like to see, um, cr I I including on the subject of creating accounts so you can see your, your stats. Um, obviously, you can go in, you can see how you did on any given grid. My idea was, hey, show like something similar to OPS Plus, but for a grid. Because like a uh, a score of, of 25 might be, you know, a, I, I think 25 is good regardless, really. I mean, that's that, that that's pretty impressive to me uh, still, even as I've been playing this a lot and gotten a lot better. But if you get a 25 and one of the categories is like, like the Tampa Bay Rays and another one of the categories is like Cy Young award winners, then that you got to adjust for that. Just like we adjust for ballparks and eras in baseball. So that was my idea, but I think it'd be cool to be able to log in and just be like, how many times has John played Al Simmons or Otis Nixon on one of these things? Roberto Hernandez. Um, I know some of you out there, uh, uh, you know, Jeff using the Delahanty brothers and uh, uh, Jamie Wright, pretty big, uh, pretty big fan of him i know that uh that's out there so um that was, if you have ideas get on x uh tag adam dorowski and uh give your suggestions i think it'd be really cool to see some new features um new ways to like look at your stats or whatever um anyway that's just my cool public service announcement baseball's less than one i mean i guess it's already started but um with the padres dodgers series but brewers baseball which is what i'm into is uh starting thursday really excited for the season to uh really get underway i thought mookie betts had like seven rvi in the two games so he's already uh off to a hot start for uh towards towards another mvp award all right that's enough of a preamble let's get into it playing grid number 356 all right so this here would have been the, oh, wait a minute. Let me make sure I'm actually sharing the screen. I don't think I was sharing the screen, the whole screen. There we go. Now you got the clock too. All right. Hit and refresh, hit and go, and away we go. Low budget production, guys. Oh, no teams. All right. All-star, playing catcher, uh, Piazza. And I think Beltre made some all-star teams. And Mickey Mantle made some all-star teams. And Willie Mays won two MVPs. And Mike Schmidt won three MVPs. And Yvonne Rodriguez won an MVP. Oh, probably should save that one. Uh, that's fine, though. Yadier Molina. And how about Placido Polanco? And let's see, center fielder. Um, how about Sammy Sosa? I know he played a little center field. There we go. 65, which is actually a home run total he didn't quite hit, but pretty close to it. Went sub one on Sammy Sosa. I just kind of thought of that. I was just like, did Sammy Sosa like played center field in a number of all-star games and the all-star category was there, which I think is what got my mind thinking. But, um, because I, I just remember Sammy Sosa playing a little bit of center field with Larry Walker you know, in right field, and Guerrero was was kicking around. Um, this was before like Edmonds was in the National League, and Andrew Jones was really really good, but I, I don't think he was as appreciated as he should have been. Um, and in the All Star ballots, um, you j just select outfielders. You don't select left, center, right. So if you have Sammy Sosa, Larry Walker, and Barry Bonds, well, someone's got to play center field. Although it seems to me Barry Bonds and Larry Walker are both better outfielders than Sosa was, but whatever. Anyway, so that was sub one. Beltre taking a one. I mean, this is, I don't think this was ever going to be a, yeah, 13% up here on Yadi Molina. How about that? 
one percent for Placido Polanco. All right. I wonder if I can get well no, I'm not gonna get MVPs who played catcher and reverse. I was I was thinking, could I get well no, yeah, there was no way I was I was gonna get all brewers here. Anyway, I'm gonna stop sharing the old screen here. Let's find the other one. That's it there. This was uh that's right. I, I couldn't come up with Chris Basio. Chris Basio would have been the way to go here, former Milwaukee Brewer. I did Randy Johnson here. I did John Halama, who was traded for Randy Johnson. Got Jamie Wright down there. All right, let's go for a low rarity score now. At least let's beat 65. How about my guy, Raleigh Helmsley? Helmsley. I'd like to see how often I've selected him. Um, And... I'm a big Jeff Cirillo fan, and he was the Brewers representative at the 1997 All-Star Game. I think he made an All-Star Game with the Rockies as well. Okay, so he's an order of magnitude higher than Raleigh Hemsley. Uh, let's see. All-Star, center fielder. Would be a good one there. Marquis Grissom ever make an All-Star Game? Seems to me he probably did. Probably made a couple. Um... Who else would be a, a fun pick there? Mike Cameron played in, I believe, one All-Star game. I think it was in 01. The other Mariners won 116 games and hosted the All-Star game. I don't think that's going to be really rare, though. Um, so so obviously works. <laughs> um, we just uh, we just hit him. Get maybe an Ellis Burks in there. Maybe a, Maybe get a Reggie Smith. Probably a ton of options. I'm just cycling around. You know who? I believe Paul Molitor played just a little bit of center field. He definitely played in the outfield. Now I'm trying to dial in if it was center field. It seems like an unnecessary risk, but I'm just going to go for it. Yeah, 0.07. Worth it. <laughs> Worth the risk. Uh, now that I got it right. <laughs> it's easy to say in hindsight. All right. Let's try to come up with some MVP catchers. Uh, so I said Yvonne Rodriguez won the 1999 MVP award. Buster Posey won the 2012 MVP award in the National League. Joe Maurer, 2009. Um, and I think this one will more or less jive with recency. Um, I, I can't think of any catchers in the 80s who won MVP awards. Uh, Thurman Munson won an MVP award with the Yankees. And of course, Yogi Berra won three MVP awards. So did Roy Campanella. So that's, those were all in the fifties for both those guys. Um, Gabby Hartnett, I believe won an MVP award. Pretty sure on that. Maybe I skipped that. Uh, but it's it's an MVP who played catcher. They don't have to have done it in the same year. And that's changing my calculus a little bit. I was going over like people who won as catchers. Um how about this one? I'm gonna do something here. How about he didn't win an MVP, but he was born outside the United States. Point five was a little bit higher than I thought Carlos Delgado was gonna get, but that's all right. Um how about Jimmy Fox came up as a catcher? It takes a full percentage point. Okay, a lot more people knew that than I thought. He also played a little third base. Um, Cal Ripken Jr. would work there, even though he won his MVPs over at shortstop. Obviously, A-Rod works. Al Rosen works. Mike Schmidt works. We already played Mike Schmidt. Um I guess this might just be done more. Terry Pendleton, that's another option. Chris Bryant. These are both people primarily who played third base. Um, 
Caminiti, also a third baseman. But like, if we just think of like. MVPs from times gone by. Like here's here's one. Johnny Evers was a second baseman, but did he ever play third base? Wouldn't wouldn't surprise me. Um, we've established that Eddie Matthews did not win an MVP award. He finished second twice. I messed that up on a, an earlier grid, long time ago. Um. Uh, Harmon Killebrew uh, played some third base. Don Mattingly would work. That's an interesting one. Do I go with Don Mattingly? Let me just do some '90s and 2000s MVPs, and then I'll I'll uh, I'll see if I can land on someone who played third base but not won as a third baseman or as a center fielder. I think that's the way to go here. So, um, '90 is Bonds, '91 is Pendleton. Next couple are Bonds. Jeff Bagwell. I don't know that he ever actually played third base. He did come up as a third baseman. Um, and then that leads you into in the National League, uh, leads you into what Barry Larkin. Don't think he ever played third base. Caminiti, obviously a third baseman. Walker, no. Um, let's see, ninety eight is Sosa, ninety nine is Chipper Jones, so that would work. Two thousand uh, is Kent, who I believe would also work. I believe he played a little bit of third base and get Bonds four years in a row. Pujols would work. Pujols won MVPs, not as a third baseman, but he definitely played third base. Um, so that's a few there. And then, what, 06 is Ryan Howard? That will not work. <laughs> that would be a fun sight. Um, 07, Rollins. And I had Pujols already, Votto, not going to work. And then, uh, ooh, Braun would work. Ryan Braun would work. So I've danced around a handful of options. I don't Donaldson. That's another option I could go with. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Mattingly though. Takes a full percent. Um, I think Bonds actually came up as a center fielder before moving over to left. Like so, I think his rookie year he might have played some center field. Um. But who else would be to get there? Henderson played some center field, uh, mainly with the Yankees. Uh, I don't know that Henry Aaron ever moved over to center. It, it would not surprise me in the slightest if he did. I just, I'm not remembering it. Um, Yount will work. Robin Yount. Um... I can't remember if Cobb won anything that's considered an MVP award. I think he might work, but I don't know exactly, and I don't know how rare that would even be if it did. Um, let's go to the American. Uh, Griffey obviously works. Um, let's see. So in the American League, you have Henderson, who will work. Ripken, starting in 1990. Um, and then you get, what, Frank Thomas. Dennis Eckersley doesn't work, obviously. Frank Thomas obviously doesn't work. That takes you into Mo Vaughn, who doesn't work. Um, thought of Mo Vaughn in center field is actually giving giving me chuckles. Uh, let's see, ninety six is uh, Juan Gonzalez. I don't think Juan Gonzalez ever made his, his way over to center field. He's a right fielder primarily. Um, so he works for ninety six, ninety eight. Griffey obviously ninety seven would work. Ninety nine is Pudge. Two thousand is Giambi. But one is Ichiro, who would work. He played quite a bit of center field. O two 2 is Tejada, not going to work. Then A-Rod a few times in there. Vlad Guerrero, I'm not sure on. And uh, O six 6 is Morneau, who I don't think would ever have played out there. O eight 8 was Pedroia, probably not. You get Maurer and... Okay. I, I didn't come up with anyone really. No, no one who would be, no one who's sticking out to me anyway. Um, as far as center fielders go, I've I've come up with essentially the the big heavy hitters. But I might go. How about Andre Dawson?
because he was a right fielder by the time he made his way to the Cubs, but he was a center fielder earlier in his career. He also takes 8%. All right. Um, let's see. So we need a third baseman. How about uh, Milwaukee Brewer third baseman, Andrew Monsterio? 6.3. And then out in center, let's close on a, on a strong note here. I want I want to have a brewer in there, but I'm I'm not thinking of like you know Gerald Williams, Marquise Grissom, Jeffrey Hammonds. These are all people born in America. Dave Krenzel, Brady Clark, Bill Hall, Mike Cameron. Holy cow, we cycled through these people. Um, Brewers have had, I guess Robin Yount was a long tenured center fielder and then quickly cycled through a whole bunch. Daryl Hamilton was in there. Um, how about, uh, I think Jose Cruz played a little bit of center field there. All right, rarity score five with three of them coming on the MVP categories. So I tried to cycle through as many these options, but clearly there were better ones. Catcher, there was only 17 options. So I'm actually pretty happy with the Jamie Foxx at 1%. Um, but I could have done better on these for sure. There were definitely some sub 1%ers. Still, uh, yeah, this is a, a fun grid because it's a lot of, you have a lot more options and it, you you can use your creativity a little bit. I thought Delgado was a creative pick because I knew he came up as a catcher, but didn't uh, didn't last there. Monasterio just came up last year, but uh, still took point three. All right. Well, I've uh, rambled on long enough. Thank you so much for playing. I hope you all have a great rest of your weekend, and I will be back at it later. Peace.